Okay, we're going to do uh, Leak Code 128 Longest Consecutive Sequence in JavaScript. This is asking you to take an unsorted array and then find the longest consecutive sequence in it. This one, there's one, two, three, four. Return the length. Uh, I had some trouble trying to figure this one out, so I was looking through the solutions and I found uh, one that I really like. Uh, so I'm going to walk through it here. Uh, and kind of show you how uh, this really clever solution was done under the solutions tab. So this is not my code, uh, somebody else's solutions code, but I'm gonna walk through it uh, here anyways. Just wanted to give uh, credit to that person. I can't remember who it is underneath here, but um, let's start up on it. So this is edge case right here. Just making sure that we have uh, actually some sort of input to this returning zero otherwise then we have a set and we can use a set because these are uh, they are an unsorted array of integers and there are no duplicates in here so we can use a set and we also have a max and the max is what we're going to end up uh, returning eventually. So we're going to initialize that to zero. So now that we have a set, creating a new set like this, passing all the numbers, we can loop through it with the for loop. So we're going to leave a spot right there. We'll come back to that right now. We're basically going to um, build up Uh, different lengths and then compare them against max. So in order to do that, we'll need a we'll need a current max and we'll need the current number. So we're going through uh, every number in this set. This is an unordered set, and we are going to use set has to check to see if the current number plus one exists. And if it does, we're going to increment current number, and we're going to increment current max. Then, when we get out of this while loop here, and we have found all of the current number plus ones, which was basically going to be, right, you can imagine when we hit this one here, is there a current number plus one in this? Is there a two? Yes. Is there a, then we increment it. Is there a current number, which is two plus one in this? There's a three, yes. All the way to four. Is there a current number uh, plus one on the four? So is there a five in here? There's not. So what we would do then is set the max to that. So the kind of the global max here, we want math.max. Okay. And then at the end of this, we're going to uh, return the max. So this works. Uh, you can see it output what we wanted to. It passed both the test cases. So that's great. Um, there is a trick to this, though. If I hit submit in here, We're not going to pass everything because this doesn't run fast enough. So we're going to come back to here in one second. Let me show you this. So we've got time limit exceeded. This is like a thousand, thousand numbers in here. Okay, here is the delete code trick to this. If the set has the current number minus one if we find this number set has current minus num, num uh, number minus one so in this sense if we're looping through here we hit this it does not have number minus one so we would continue if we when we hit this can we find number minus one we can it's three so we want to skip over that and we're going to skip over that just by using continue.
then we'll we'll basically keep looking through this. And when we get to here, there's no minus one. So this is where we would want to start building our string up from. So when we hit one, we go through this part, find one, two, three, four, set that to the max right here, and then continue with our for loop. So now we don't have to, we're not going to hit this three and go all the way through this because there is a set minus one. When we go to the next iteration, it finds, okay, is there one less than this? Yes, so we know that this is part of the sequence, therefore we don't have to do the rest of this right here, and that's what speeds it up. Uh, and I thought it was a very clever trick. Let me see if I can't find who this was, because I want to give him credit for it. This was done uh, by Hongbo Miao, or Miao, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, uh, but this is, this is in the, uh, it's in the solutions, and it's very clever, and I really like this code, and I wanted to help anybody that was uh, kind of struggling with this problem. And I thought it was a uh, really cool way to uh, to use set that I hadn't seen this pattern before. And I'll definitely be using it uh, in the future. So I'll go back to the description. I, I'll leave it here so you can uh, see the entire problem. And I'll leave it there.